everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. I am T and this is my channel, Crumpets Tea and Sewing. So today I am going to just go ahead and go through the simple tools that I have collected over the years and then also the tools that I think that every sewer should have in his or her sewing kit. So let's get started. So first on the list are pinking shears and shears and regular fabric shears. So these particular fabric shears are from the company Fiskars and they are very powerful. They are very known brand. These particular fabric shears um, and pinking shears are just phenomenal. Um, you just want to make sure that you have a really good pair of fabric shears and pinking shears, especially if you don't own a serger. Pinking shears could be a lifesaver because they are really great for finishing off the edges of your your garment next you want to make sure that you have a really good measuring tape this particular measuring tape I have had for a number of years now you want to make sure that you have a really good measuring tape and that you're taking your measurements quite frequently so that you can have a really great and accurate fit for your finished garments next um, you should invest in a really great pressing cough I haven't seen a whole lot of people put this on the, their list, but I think that is a simple tool that has a powerful punch. This particular cloth is designed so that you can actually put it over your your garment or while you're make in the process of making your garment, and it will make it so that you can um, not allow direct heat to come into contact with your fabric and so if your fabric is very fragile or it's a sheer fabric a silk fabric or a satin fabric sometimes you don't want your uh, iron to come in direct contact with your particular fabric and so you would use a pressing cloth or if you're using facing or interfacing so if you're putting interfacing on a garment sometimes you don't want that interfacing to come in direct contact with the um, iron and so you would use a pressing cloth. Next, I think every sewer should have wonder clips. These are wonderful. There is no wonder why they call these wonder clips. These are wonderful, um, especially if you're making like a gathered skirt or a pleated skirt. I have found that the pens that we use to hold our uh, fabrics in place or to hold our garment in place when we're doing a gathered or pleated skirt sometimes don't really work the pens get out you know get all moved and when you're putting your um, project in the sewing machine sometimes the pens can get lost and you can break a, ne a, a needle by hitting a pen and it can just be a mess but using wonder clips are just wonderful because you can put the clips on the edge of your the garment that you're making and just take them off as you're sewing and it's just it's a really great tool and it I have found that it holds my garments in place so much more effectively than pecs on your list you want to have um, a hem gauge a hem gauge is very wonderful to use as well you can actually make your own hem gauge or you can buy cheaper hem gauges. Um, this particular hem gauge I got from Joanne Fabrics and I don't know exactly how much I paid for it. I will make sure that I put all that information in the description box below, especially uh, information that is pertaining to all of these tools. I'll put that in the description box below as well. Um, this particular hem gauge, um, it has uh, different fractions on it so that you can um, use a hem you can go from a hem of four inches three inches two and a half inches two inches all the way down to a half of an inch it's just very useful it also has uh, centimeters on here as well if you want to measure your hem out in a centimeter is instead of measuring it out in a in inches a curved ruler especially if you're thinking about doing a uh, self drafting or if you're grading a pattern if you're grading up or down having a curve ruler is very important because um, our body has our bodies have a lot of curves to it and so does the patterns that we make and so having a curve ruler is definitely something that you want to invest in so that you can get the nice curved lines on your pattern pieces. Next, I think every sewer should invest in a really great 
invisible zipper foot. I think that the invisible zipper foot takes your game to another level. Putting in invisible zippers is like, it's something magical about it. It's just really wonderful, I think, to have an invisible zipper on your garment. It shows like professionalism. This is the zipper foot that I have and it is um, an invisible zipper foot and as you can see it just has a little hole in the middle of it and in the back it has like these grooves in the back and the grooves are suppo supposed to help you guide the zipper teeth um, into the machine so that you can get as close as possible to the teeth but without actually sewing on the teeth so very powerful tool i think that every person should have something um, like this. It's a seam ripper and it's not your average seam ripper. This is um, a seam ripper that has a blade at the edge of it and it curves at the end as you see here and it allows you to um, rip several um, threads at a time and so it just cuts down on, on the time of you using a seam, having to rip open seams by half. I have found that um, when I use my regular seam ripper, you know, the really small ones that have like the little tiny um, hand holding thing at the bottom. I have found that those things are just so hard to work with because my hands are a little awkward and they're really small. But having this, I just feel like, you know, the grip is better. Um, the way in which I can rip is better and you can actually rip the seams open just you know so much faster um, and anyway really good seam ripper is very important next if you want your garment to have like a professional um, quality to it I would really suggest that you get a really good starch this particular starch is called Best Press and I purchased this from Joann's and I get several of them every year with a coupon. They're very expensive. It's, um, I want to say $9.99 a bottle, but if you use a 50 or 60% off coupon, you can get it for four or five bucks. And so, and that's generally what I do every year. Um, this bottle I've had for think a little over a year so it lasts a long time and a little bit goes a long way however it just makes your garments look so professional the next best thing I would tell you to use is this faultless premium starch solution it is a professional starch and it advertises as being non flake or no flaking and I would honestly agree with that this solution is just so amazing i have used this solution for years before i use best press and uh, the premium is just a wonderful wonderful solution by faultless um, there are other solutions that are not premium i would say stay away from those because they do flake a lot and so you want to stay away from those this is the one that i use and uh like i said it's very good hold up to its name very wonderful stuff. next you want to make sure that you have some really great marking tools um especially water soluble marking tools so for the water soluble marking tools i buy um, these particular marking tools and i purchased these off of walmart and they come in a set so I I think they're like ten dollars and you get four blue four purple four pink they it comes in a set and I really love these marking tools I've had a chance to use every last color and they are all wonderful the only downside about these particular tools is that they don't work on really dark contrasting colors so they won't work on black or navy blue or really dark uh, teal and then lastly these three items on the list are um, additional things that I have added to the list uh, these particular items if you have the money to get them great get them if you don't have the money to get them right now I would say put them on your 
uh, must have sewing list and then you can kind of collect them over time as I did and the first item is uh, a rotary cutter these can be really expensive especially if you're getting them in a pack this particular rotary cutter again this is by Fiskars a very great brand investing in a rotary cutter is something that I would highly suggest especially if you're um, making this into a long-term hobby um, having a self-healing mat is also something that you want to invest in if you're going to be using a rotary cutter um, and then lastly a tailor's ham a tailor's ham is so very very important if you want to get really nice crisp and sharp uh, seams if you want your seams to lay flat and look beautiful and look very professional a tailor's ham is the way to go these are the tools that I think that every sewer should have and I think that you can get all of these items on a budget if you use coupons from Joann's. Make sure that you shop Amazon, Etsy, and eBay as well. Sometimes people have these items on eBay, Etsy, and Amazon that um, they had it for you know a very short period of time and they're just get, getting rid of their stash because they no longer want to invest in the hobby or whatever. Um, and I found very nice new items on eBay and Etsy as well where people just don't want to have them anymore and so they will post them and put them online um, at a discounted price and also Joann's and Hobby Lobby in the United States very great place to go make sure you get those coupons with Joann's they are always coming out with 50 and 60 percent off coupons especially around the holidays and with Hobby Lobby they always have their famous 40 percent off coupon all you have to do is look online or get their app and you'll always have that 40% off coupon and you can always get items from those two places using coupons very great deals the wonder clips though I haven't been able to find a really good deal on those you can get them from Joann's and you also can get them from Hobby Lobby by using their coupons but to get a bunch of them at one time um, is better and more effective I think because I use them quite a lot I use them just as much as I use my pens and so getting a lot of wonder clips at one time I think is the better way to go and so to do that I think you would definitely want to go on eBay to do that so that's my video today on uh, the sewing tips and the different sewing tools that I think every sewer should have in their sewing kit if you like this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, make sure that you comment below. Tell me what your favorite sewing tool is. If I left something off the list and you feel like that's something that every sewist should have, especially a beginner, make sure you make that comment below. Let's get a discussion going on what kind of sewing tools we should also be looking for to put in our sewing kits in the future. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so so that you can get notifications about videos like these. Thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. And until next time, stay creative. <laughs>